Hello, what's up guys? I'm Kyle from KGR, and we have Build-A-Bears! So, I managed to get all three Sonic Movie 2 Build-A-Bears, and originally I was going to do a vlog getting all of these. Unfortunately, some of the footage I shot was in 4K, and my computer cannot handle 4K. So, originally I was going to completely scrap the idea unfortunately but um i think i might be able to salvage a good chunk of it i have to downscale a lot of the video which is going to take a lot of time so if you're patient i can reattempt the video at least i reattempt to edit it i just gotta compress a lot of things and then edit it all over again so i could try that but we'll see what happens so until we do that first we're going to review these and then next week, we're also going to review the giant Eggman robot playset from Jax. So hopefully after that, I should have enough time to edit that vlog. Now, typically, I don't review plushes. I'm more of an action figure guy. So this is going to be kind of out of my territory. So we're going to go through this together. But first, I want to give you guys a question of the day. Uh, have y'all seen the new Sonic movie? And what do y'all think of it? I'm pretty sure there's a lot of my viewers who haven't seen the movie, so please, for the love of God, don't do spoilers. My streams are plagued with spoilers, and I feel bad for my viewers who haven't seen the movie yet, <laughs> and I've already been spoiled a little bit. So, let's start with just Sonic, because he's the main character. We gotta go over to Blue Boy right here. Also, towards the end of the video, I wanna go over like my thoughts on the whole night of like seeing a Sonic movie. No spoilers, but I wanna go over my night. But let's start with Sonic. Um, now, Build-A-Bears are stylized. So if you're looking for a like 100% accurate movie Sonic plush, you're not finding these here. However, I do love the way this looks. Now, this is not the first Sonic Build-A-Bear we've gotten before. We've also gotten one from Standard Sonic, who was very stylized. And then we got one from the first movie, which I did not like at all. So, I didn't buy that. However, this one, I absolutely loved. There's also a plush from Jax, and I did not like that plush at all. So, when I saw this was coming out, I got super duper excited. And when I saw pictures online from Build-A-Bear's website, I was kind of mixed. I'm like, this looks cute, but the face seems kind of off to me. However, I'm not sure how well it shows up on camera, but definitely in person, it is definitely a lot cuter around the face than what it does in the pictures. However, if you're still skeptical, uh, they do have like a bunch of bears already made at Build-A-Bear, at least my local one did. So go inside, check it out, and if you like the way it looks, possibly get it. But I gotta fair warn you, uh, Sonic is $32.00 but there's a big asterisk. As you can tell, I have the shoes on them and the ring and stuff like that, but none of that is included. So, the ring by itself, I have the receipt right here, thankfully. The ring by itself is $7.50, okay? $7.50 for this guy. Now, the ring itself, I'm pretty sure it's like the same ring that we've gotten from the other two Sonics. I don't even know if this the first movie Sonic even came with the ring, I can't remember. However, this one is branded Sonic 2 on the tag, so if you're a diehard collector, you gotta get this ring. And even on like the price tag, it even says Sonic 2. So like again, you, you gotta have it for a collector. And then the shoes are also separate. The pair of shoes cost $9.50, which I think it's absolutely ridiculous that you gotta buy the shoes separately. However, it is what it is. But when you get them on the little rack thing, the logos for the Sonic movie are like facing like each other so personally i'd rather have them facing outwards i'm not sure how well you were able to see it but like, i can give you a quick look on how it looks on the logo there we go yeah so we got that on both sides on like each shoe so like this one has it on this side the other one has it on the other side so if you want them facing out you can if you want them facing in you can that's completely up to you it's not really like set on like how each shoe fits and then Sonic also does have a voice box, which that's $8. And here are the following voices. Yeah, Donut Lord and the Blue Blur are back at it again. Welcome to Sonic Air, the fastest way to travel. I make this look good. Blue Justice, trademark pending. Fast is my thing, remember? 
So in total, everything for Sonic is gonna cost you about $57. Of course, when you're in store, you can pick and choose what you want. You can either drop the voice box, you can drop the ring, you can drop whatever you want. But the fact that Sonic doesn't come with the shoes kind of irritates me because I feel like they're cash grabbing as much as they want to and it's a little irritating. And also, me trying to put these shoes on was the most stressful situation I ever had to do. It made me question how tough is it to put on the shoes on a toddler? Cause like, they have like little vans, like I go to the van store to get my shoes and I see like little tiny baby vans and I think they're absolutely adorable. But after putting on these shoes on this Build-A-Bear, it had me question, how difficult is it to put it on a baby's shoes? I'm pretty confident a decent amount of my viewers have kids. Uh, let me know in the comments, how difficult is it to put on sneakers on a baby? But since I took these off, I gotta put these back on. Great. So I guess we're gonna do that real quick. Also, I forgot to mention, uh, uh, he has the Sonic 2 logo on his little foot. There we go. Now you can see it. Isn't that cute? Then we also got the Build-A-Bear logo on his hand. But we also got the Build-A-Bear logo on the bottom of the shoes. But anyway, let's try to put these shoes back on. I'm not looking forward to this. I like to have the Sonic 2 movie logo facing out. But like, look how big his foot is and look how small that entrance is. That, like, that's how much we're getting in. We are not having a good time. You like really gotta squeeze these shoes in. It's not a good time. I'm not sure if uh, the Build-A-Bear people are allowed to help you put these things on. I didn't do that when I was in store. So I would ask if they could possibly help you put on the shoes. <laughs> Cause I'm telling you right now, it is tough. <laughs> so then you have a little bit of his foot still sticking out, but I think it's supposed to be like a, a double cuff layer thing. Cause I, I think it's in. <laughs> now let's do the other shoe. Uh, hello, hello Chloe. How are you doing beautiful girl? She loves attention. She is a very needy girl. But getting these shoes on for the first time, like you really, really gotta squeeze these things in. But the shoes are back on. We're all good. And then the ring has a little strap on the side that you can just put that on whatever hand you want to put it on. So there you go. Now he has the ring. So overall, do I think he's worth $57 by himself like with all that stuff accessorized? That's completely up to you. Um, personally, I think it looks better than the movie uh, plush that we got from Jax. When it comes to overall accuracy, since like I said, it's stylized. But it does have the six quills on his head like the movie Sonic does. And then the Jack specific merchandise I noticed gave him like three quills on his back. This doesn't do that. So if that bothers you, oh well, but it doesn't really bother me all that much, so it don't matter. But I think this looks better than the Jack's plush, so I, I, I like it. So it being worth $57 to you, that is completely up to you. You can customize as much as you want, uh, but I went full out because... I like it. Now before we move on to Tails, is there anything you want to say, Sonic? Yeah, don't let Lord and the blue blur are back at it okay. I think he just called me fat, called me a donut lord. That wasn't very nice. Let's move on to Tails. And here he is. He He's Tails. If you like Tails, you're probably gonna like this thing. The arms, the way they're like positioned, like the way they're like pre-stuffed or I don't know exactly how the situation is, but like the shoulders are like, kind of broad and the legs seem a little long. But again, this is a, it's, a, it's a build a bear, it's stylized, it's not meant to be like the most accurate thing in the world. As long as it's not ugly, I'm happy. Got his little hair up here, all cute things, all super soft. Uh, the tails are on the back, they're, they're hanging out, they do whatever. I think these are already pre-stuffed as well. Like you don't get stuffing in here. I think it's just like a foam pad thing in here. And then the shoes are already like sewn on. Like they're already like, a pre-sewn thing. They're not solid shoes like Sonics are for the most part. They're not made out of pleather, foam, and whatever other material they put on a shoe. Because I forgot to mention that. Like it is a mixture of things. We got like foam on the bottom. We got like pleather around the front and the, the stripe and the yellow and whatever else. And then this part feels like it might be part of a normal shoe. It's weird. 
But Tails, on the other hand, like, it's all stuff, like what you would see on like a normal plush. Then you get the Sonic 2 logo on his foot, and then the Build-A-Bear logo on his hand, and loud motorcycles outside, because it's very nice outside. Uh, Tails also does come with a voice box. Uh, each of the voice boxes have five phrases, so here's Tails' voices. Everyone calls me Tails. You're probably wondering why, but we have to help him. You don't know what he's up against. Let's do this. I found him. I just hope I'm not too late. Maybe being weird isn't so bad. Again, yeah, very cute. Uh, so, Tails by himself is $30. And then the voice box is $8. But the Tails plush, uh, they forgot to ring me up for. Including the voice box. So, I saved $38 on this guy. So that was sweet. Out of all of them, Tails is the only one that has a hard nose for some reason. Like, Sonic and Knuckles have soft noses but Sonic has hard shoes but he has soft shoes and so does Knuckles so it's like they all have different design choices and it's kind of weird I, I don't know if I like that inconsistency or not this cat now overall do I recommend Tails I mean if you like Tails you're gonna like this thing especially if you do the voice box so in the total you're looking at $38 for this guy plus tax so yeah you might like it if you like Tails you're good this is not the first Tails they've done, I don't think, but I feel like this is probably the cuter one out of the two they probably made. Now let's move on to Knuckles. But before we move on to Knuckles, is there anything you want to say, Tails? Let's do this! Sure! And finally, we have Knuckles. Now, with Sonic and Tails, I actually did those ones in store. I did the ritual and everything because why not? It's a Build-A-Bear experience. It's not going to be a Build-A-Bear experience if you don't do that. Knuckles, on the other hand, is online exclusive, so you can't do any of that. Although Knuckles, I'm not going to lie, is probably my favorite one out of the three. He's also the most disappointing out of the three, mainly because of the fact he doesn't have a voice box. That was like one of the things I was also looking forward to when I saw that Knuckles was being released, but the fact that you don't get an Idris Elba, or however you pronounce his name, uh, the Idris Elba uh, voice box, part of me wants to say that it was probably a good thing because I felt like that could have been very dangerous and probably would have aroused a lot of people. I love how big his belly is too. This thing is too cute. Now, Knuckles is supposed to be all super muscular. You don't really get that here, but again, it's a Build-A-Bear. They're stylized. You're not going for complete accuracy here. Uh, his tail isn't exactly the way that Knuckles' tail is supposed to be. It's supposed to be all, like, squiggly at the end. But if you're looking at a stuffed bear's butt, you're a little bit different than I am. Um, we are told not to judge. We are supposed to be in a society where we don't judge much anymore. But sometimes you can't help but judge. Uh, but we're going to be looking at this beautiful face. And it is... Look at that smile. It is too cute. Like I said, this is probably the best one out of the three. Unfortunately, since this, this one's also online exclusive, uh, after shipping, you're probably paying like, like around 40 bucks for this guy because he's 32 by himself. Uh, shoes are already on, like tails. Uh, no voice box. But unfortunately, he's the most popular one out of the three. So... He sold out, at least as of right now. Unfortunately, Build-A-Bear doesn't have a thing to like let you know when something gets back in stock. Uh, so I would say just keep checking back. In fact, me trying to buy this guy online was actually quite a nightmare. I had a day off when I saw he was in stock and I tried on and off for a couple hours because sometimes it would say something like how I couldn't process my payment or it couldn't uh, ship to my country, even though I live in the US. So I don't understand that either. But point is, it was very, very difficult for even me to try to get this guy. But it did come very quickly. It only came like, in a couple of days. And when I got him, I was so happy. He's so cute. I, I love having this. Would it be better if he had the voice box? Absolutely, he'd be a 10 out of 10 if he had the voice box. But no. Nah, he's just a stuffed bear. Would it be cool if he also came with the Master Emerald? Oh, absolutely. That'd be a freaking amazing if he did. But no, he didn't. Uh, of course, I do recommend getting this guy, but be careful. Because I don't want you spending, I don't know how much on eBay. You know what? Let's go on eBay. Let's see how much this thing is going for. Because it's probably not 
cheap. Oh my goodness, there is listings between like 120 to 150 dollars. Why? Uh, let's see sold items. What did what did they actually sell for? Couple of them sold for a hundred dollars. Oh my god. Yeah, they're averaging about a hundred dollars on eBay right now. That is ridiculous. No. Is he cute? Absolutely. Is a hundred dollars cute? That's completely up to you. Personally, I wouldn't think so, but I am very, very blessed and thankful that I got him for after shipping about like forty bucks. So I'm I'm thankful. I got all of these. Actually, I want to say all of them at retail, but tails I got for free. And originally, I was going to tap out of savings to buy these because I wanted them so bad. But thankfully, Xfinity was super sweet and gave me a $100 gift card. So I spent all of that on those three and not a penny more. I got lucky. But speaking of lucky, I do want to go over something a little bit soon. But that pretty much concludes my review of the... Of the Sonic Build-A-Bears. They're absolutely cute. I definitely think you should buy them But I do wish you luck on trying to get Knuckles because he's the coolest one out of the three and he's online exclusive But back to the question of the day. Have you guys seen the Sonic movie? So I did these Build-A-Bears As of this recording last Wednesday, but by the time it goes up, it's gonna be like two Wednesdays ago Okay, so two Wednesdays ago as of you seeing this and then the following day we got to see a early screening of the movie at this time i was like sick for like two weeks and now i was like on the tail end of it like i was just about done being sick for the most part but i really 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 wanted to see this movie i've been looking forward to this movie for months so i see the movie and during the first half an hour a uh, kid would not stop asking questions or shutting up and then he projectile puke next to us and now i was within the first half an hour of the movie or so so thankfully they were gone <laughs> And then two crew members came in from the theater and investigated with no flashlights, by the way, and didn't really do anything about it. They probably thought it was just a spilt drink or something because it was mostly liquid anyway. So since nothing was done, I let a manager know after we were done watching the movie because one, I wanted to enjoy the movie. I wanted to sit down and watch. I loved it. So we let a manager know just to make sure it got cleaned up. And, but we didn't go all Karen mode or anything. Like we were like very peaceful about it. And of course, the usher or manager, whoever it was, felt bad. So not only did we get two free tickets to the movie, this cat is so needy, she loves to ask for attention during my videos. So anyway, during that, uh, I was talking to, I guess, I'm gonna say the manager, cause he was able to hook me up with tickets. So he was super cool and I was being all chill and whatever. We're talking about the movie, having a good time for a couple of minutes. So I pressed my luck. I shot my shot. I asked him, what are the chances of me getting one of these posters? Because like we were talking about the post credit scene and I was saying how much I enjoyed the movie. And when he gave me the tickets, I said he didn't have to do that. And he's like, no, I want you to fully enjoy the movie. So I'm like, okay, cool. So of course, Bob's being there, he sees how much of a Sonic fan I am. So I'm like, what are my chances? of getting one of these posters. This guy, hold on. This guy steps up and he's like, all right, let me look for something real quick. Let me be right back. And then he comes out with this bad boy rolled up. Of course, I got two ring lights facing this so I can't do any anti-glare, but he comes out with this. When I tell you that I cried, my legs turned into noodles, I dropped to the ground. I was so ecstatic. I like I was so happy when he gave me this. So then I also gave him a hug because again I'm super thankful. And then the guy is like, alright, I might have something else for you. So then I'm getting even more excited. I'm like hyperventilating here. Cause like the fact that he gave me this poster, that, that was just a shot in the dark. I, I just shot my shot. And he, he hooked me up. So then he walks away again. I'm like trying to catch my breath. And then he comes back and he sounds slightly disappointed. And then comes back and he's like, okay, I also did find you this. Nothing too special, but it's something. Cause I think he was trying to find me other poster maybe. I don't know. Cause again, like when he pulled this up, he like sounded a little disappointed, which again, like the fact that he hooked me up with tickets and the poster, like I, I'm beyond thankful for that. So after that whole night, it, had me like sit down and really think because this past let's just say the month the past month or so 
has been absolutely wild. Because first, I posed that video on Twitter of the Tails plane just flying outside. And I was like, oh, the Sonic movie, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a leak. Look out. And then the Sonic movie Twitter noticed it. And I freaked out on that. And then very shortly after that, uh, Threadheads sent me Crash Bandicoot shirts for me to make a video on. And then I got the free Build-A-Bear, which that was an accident. <laughs> that wasn't a courteous thing. That was an accident. But again, I got lucky on that. And then I got that poster, and like, it, like, it has me think. Like, there's a lot of good things happening for me right now. But after me being sick for about two weeks, it uh, turns out I might be diabetic. So I gotta get tested for that. That's gonna suck. But despite me having that scare, and also, you know, just, like, working paycheck to paycheck, working, not doing YouTube full-time, whatever, um, you would think a, co a combination of that would like cause someone to be all depressed and whatever and of course times do get sad but like I count the blessings that I have like all of this happening within the span of a month and also counting all the other little blessings and also I had to go to my friend's wedding and a lot of great stuff has been happening so if you ever get in a tough spot like mentally don't forget to count your blessings because there's a lot of things you can be grateful for. Because, like, after all of this happening right now, like, th like, this is incredible. And a lot of this is happening thanks to you guys. And I'm not talking about anything that happened in the past month. Like, sure, the Sonic shirts, not the Sonic shirts, the Crash Bandicoot shirts, uh, that happened because of the following I have on YouTube. Which, again, you guys are the reason for that. But, like, everything else that's happened with my life, like, especially when it comes to YouTube, like, you guys really help a lot like whether it be like the donations and streams so helping me financially but like doing youtube thing it's like it's a hobby that's what it, youtube to me primarily is but it makes me feel not as alone you know and because i see a good chunk of you guys as more than just viewers i see you guys as friends because a lot of us even talk in the dms and when we chill in the streams it's so nice like i and beyond grateful for you guys so like i said multiple times in the past thank you so much i love you guys from the bottom of my heart but that is mostly all i have to say for this video <laughs> so if you heard me out through all of that like thank you so much for hearing me out if you're new and you like what you saw you know what to do in the description not only is there going to be a place for all my social media stuff but there's also going to be a spot for where you can also order these guys yourself if you don't feel like going to Build-A-Bear and making them yourself, you want to avoid the whole ritual thing, you, like, that's completely fine. That's understandable. So I'll have links in the description so you can just buy them and order them yourself and just have them sent to your house. And again, you can customize these bears as much as you want. Like you can, start, you can pick out what you want with them. So do what you need to do. And again, thank you for watching. Uh, like I said earlier, I love you guys to death. And never forget how much I love you. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. So, uh, peace, peace.